my journey begins with a little under 3 hour long non-stop flight to Mallorca from Amsterdam. Round trip tickets on a hand luggage fare cost me around 150 euros, which if you ask me is an unbelievable price for an international ticket. I was lucky to have window seats and clear skies. As we approached the landing, we flew super close to one of the cliffs of the other neighboring islands, which I believe was Ibiza. And the views of the cliffs and crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean were beautiful beyond description. We landed at Palma Airport in late afternoon and took an hour-long bus to Santa Ponsa, the town where our hotel was situated. The bus stop is right at the airport, so it was cheap and convenient compared to a taxi which would have otherwise cost us five times more the amount. Google map timetables work perfectly fine, so I recommend checking that out for bus routes and timings. The entire island of Mallorca has great highways and good road connectivity. It didn't feel like we're traveling on a small island. The best part about the stay was the location. If you don't believe me, have a look yourself. This cute little one bedroom apartment with a kitchenette and a jaw dropping view of the sea had some of the bestest restaurants, cafes, shops and of course the sea at literally stone throw distance from us. I believe we got lucky while booking our stay and made the best decision. In fact, my favorite hangout spot of the entire trip was right at the bottom of my hotel and this is where I would take you but in a later episode. For now, let's start with exploring Santa Ponsa. Chiranjeevji, what are you making? Pasta. Doesn't look like pasta to me yet. Pasta 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 we have pasta. The apartment is quite messy at the moment. Indian version of pasta. Yeah. Pasta curry. Pasta uh, Pasta biryani, you can say. Pasta biryani, okay. With vegetables and eggs. So here we are making an Indian version of pasta in Mallorca. Let me take you to the balcony view where Rajesh is... I don't know what he's doing over there. He's doing something. Here is our balcony and it's a sunny day here in Palma, Mallorca. Look how blue the water is. It's the Mediterranean Sea and it looks crystal clear right now. And we have some sort of clouds. Not like Netherlands, the sky is not completely covered in clouds, but it's an overall a very beautiful and a very pleasant day. And uh, just a while ago, I saw some boats around there, people doing some water sports. And if I show you ground floor of my hotel, and there are people enjoying the sun. Some kids were like going there for a swim as well. Life becomes so happy when there's sun in it. So the morning started with Chef Chiranjeev self-volunteering to make us some tasty chai and pasta. This pasta had nothing to do with the Spanish cuisine. In fact, he got some curry powder and veggies from the nearby store and blended everything together. But trust me, it was spicy and hence delicious. After satisfying our taste buds, let's venture out to explore the vibrant neighborhood. So I decided to take a walk here in Palma. It's 7 p.m. at the moment, but it's relatively sunny and it's a really nice day, lovely day. And we plan to head towards the beach. Yeah. Although, as you may notice, I'm wearing a jacket because it's a bit chilly at the moment. But still, sun makes it better. this beautiful staircase that leads to the water here. Such a lovely place, I tell you. This staircase is taking us down to the beach. And yeah, we decided to head straight to the beach. If 
finally touched the Mediterranean right now. Ah, Mediterranean, hello. I'm finally here. Such a lovely vibe over here. There are some people roaming around. There are kids playing volleyball out there. And yep, it's a very relaxed vibe although. There are not many people in the sea right now because the water is chilly. It was a really rough winter season for me because uh, some of you who don't know I live in Amsterdam. So winters there only mean rain and occasional snowfalls. Yeah, a sun after a while is like a major, major treat to the eye and to the skin and to my soul. So yeah, I think I'll just sit down and enjoy and absorb all of this. And I see my friends over there. Let me show you. They're just sitting there in the shade. Ah, uh, hello. One of them is waving hi and I'm pretty sure they're talking about me. So I'll probably go there and join them. Ah, <sighs> sit down and relax for a while. Mallorca is one of the Balearic Islands located in the western Mediterranean off the east coast of Spain. Palma, the capital city, has a magnificent old town and its beaches are famous around the world making it one of the most sought after destinations. With over 500 kilometers of coastline, there are more than 200 beaches to choose and countless water activities to do in Mallorca. We were just walking and then I noticed these group of people who are choreographing uh, on the beach. They're trying to do something sort of a beach workout by dancing in the waters. Quite cool, right? With this, my first day in Mallorca comes to an end. But believe me, the journey has just begun. It's my first time visiting the islands and if you've been following my adventures already, you'll know I've been traveling around Europe since the past two years and I'm constantly trying to travel unconventionally. If you're looking for a spontaneous, laid back, more relaxed and an unplanned adventure to Mallorca, this series is for you. So let me take you on a six day adventure to this beautiful, wonderful island. From chilling in a sea view hotel to renting a scooter and going on road trips. From a dangerous climb up a historical watchtower to enjoying the lovely sunsets by the beach. I highly recommend you watch every episode till the very end and get some tips and inspiration for your visit to Mallorca. So hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's keep the journey going. Click right here to watch the next part of the epic vlog. That's it for this video.